Mrs. Elizabeth MacDonald. That's me. Do you uh, want me to stay? No, no, he'll, uh, he'll know who it is. Is there anyone in interview room B, Dennis? No. Right, this way, please. Right, well, don't be surprised if we want to see you again. And in the meantime, if you do remember anything, I want you to get in touch. You took your time, didn't you? Mrs. McDonald, here. That's the number to ring. Mr. Battersby? Yeah? DC Cody, Weatherfield CID. Don't mind if I come in, do you? Found my car? We found a car, sir. Yes. Come in. And, uh, is it mine? Hard to tell, sir. I wondered if you might come down and identify it. What about the two little scrotes that nicked it? Have you got them and all? Not exactly, sir. Not yet. Why not? She gave you the names, didn't she? You leave them to us, sir. If you could come with me and identify your vehicle. Yeah, yeah, right. Look, I've got to go. Tell your mum if you get the chance. It's good news, this. To be honest, I never expected to get that ladder back. So that was your car, yeah? Yeah, what's left of it. You didn't say they did a brick wall. I didn't want to alarm you unnecessarily. Might not have been yours. It is mine. All that work. Spent hours outside on that. And where did you say you bought it, sir? Eh? The larder, sir. Where did you buy it? Oh, uh, Sheffield, I think. Auction place. Where exactly, sir? Well, I don't know. What does it matter? The thing's in bits. It would help us if we knew exactly where it was you bought it and how much it cost. It would help us if you went out and picked the two tow rags up that nicked it. Was the car insured, sir? It wasn't in use. So, no MOT either? No. Tax? I just said it wasn't in use. It was parked outside the house. Do you know it's an offence to park a car on a highway without displaying a current road fund licenser? What is all this evil? There's two snotty kids running around there who committed a real crime. Free as birds. Do you have a bill of sale for the car, sir? Bill of sale? When you bought it, an invoice from the auction room? Not on me, no. But you do have one? Yeah, somewhere. And you can produce it? Yeah, I can produce it. Good. Because that car's been reported stolen? Yeah, by me. That's why I'm here, isn't it? No, sir, you misunderstand me. The car was reported stolen by someone else before it came into your possession. So, to eliminate you as a suspect for that crime, we really need to see that bill of sale. Are you trying to say I nicked my own car? According to our records, sir, the car belonged to a dealer called Simmons. I don't know anything about that. I bought the car. But you can't produce a bill of sale. I've got all the documents. Proves nothing. This is diabolical. Well, there's no sense in losing your temper, sir. We have to follow up all our leads. But why would I pinch you? If I did pinch it, why would I come here and report it to you, stolen? And risk getting nicked? I'm not stupid, you know. But you do have a record, sir. Oh. That's what this is all about, is it? Give a dog a bad name. Well, great. The car goes from outside my own front door, and all you plonkers can do is sit here Fitting innocent people up to make your crime figures look better. I think I'd calm down if I were you, sir. Yeah, well, you're not me, are you? You're a plonker. And a pretty thick plonker at that. OK. Book him. What? Possession of a stolen vehicle. Failure to display a current tax disc. Obstructing the police with their inquiries. OK, OK. I didn't have a disc. But I swear to God I didn't know that car was stolen. So who did you get it from? A mate. Kenny Chambers. Kenny Chambers? And you thought it was Pucker? He swore. This puts you in an awkward spot, Les, old lad. All right, all right. I've got something else. Something you might be interested in. Like? Look, I didn't know that car was nicked. You were saying? The two lads who did the corner shop in Coronation Street. They're the same two who did the larder. If you're having me on... I'm not. You can ask Art Sawyer. She recognised the description. Toya, egg and beans, table four, please. Yeah, all right. What's all this? It's all right. They just want a word with you. What do you mean? What about? Something wrong? Nothing wrong, sir. You just carry on as normal. Just want to chat with the young lady. Uh, if she's involved with something, I, I do feel, as her employer, I have a right to know. I'm not involved with Art. What are you talking about? It's all right. You just sit down and we'll have a quiet word. If that's all right with you. Oh, right. Uh, would you like a cup of tea? Just a word with the young lady. Right. 
now then, Toya. Your dad reckons you might have some information which could be useful to us. About them lads. Please, Mr. Battersby. What two lads? The ones who stole your dad's car. I've already told you everything. You didn't tell us they were involved in a robbery, though, did you? Uh, no, no, that's not exactly true. I just wasn't sure how... It's okay, it's okay. Let's not worry too much about that. Let's just concentrate on the robbery. Now then, Toya. Your dad seems to think you recognise the descriptions Mrs. Grimes gave of the two boys who attacked her. So, is it the same two who nicked your dad's car? Mrs. Grimes? Yes? DC Cody, Weatherfield CID. Can I have a word? Is this about the robbery? That's right. You want something? I want to see you want a card. Of course. That'll do. And who might you be then? This is my assistant, Ashley Peacock. He's here to protect me. Well, then what's going on? This is a copper. They've come about the robbery. Oof. We think we found the two that tried to rob you the other day. We've got them in custody. Wondered if you might come down and identify them. You mean a line-up? Well, we prefer to call it an identity parade this side of the Atlantic. What? Like a one-way mirror and all that? Nothing so dramatic, I'm afraid. You'll be shown several people in a room and asked to identify anyone involved in the robbery. I hope you've got some sort of conveyance. Yes. Good, because I'd look a fool driving this thing round the ring road. 